box of life of the gay community came together for one moment, one moment in time where someone in your community needed you. I, I want to thank you all for that because I am the person that benefited from your wonderful spirits and wonderful thoughts. I have never been prouder of my family, and you are my family. I, my whole life, I've tried to support my friends. I've tried to support new gay entertainers coming up in the community. And you know, that's so hard. That's so hard for a new drag queen to start. I've, I've tried to help the new ones that I saw that had talent and were not giving an opportunity. There were some that had no fucking talent. And I told them, by comedy, I did. But I, I have had a, a, an extremely hard few months. Uh, I'm treasured in my heart by all the support that you've given me. And I want you to know that for the rest of my life, I owe each and every one of you something. It's up to you to tell me when you need me. I will be there for each and every one of you. It's like, I think they've always called it pay it forward. Well, you've all paid it forward for me. You all own Lily White now. You own a piece of me. I've seen a few of you. I hope you don't ask for the piece. I know you're going to ask for it. But from here on out, anything that you ever want and will to do for you, baby, it's done. I, I am so privileged and honored to be here tonight. First of all, I love Charlie Brown. I love Backstreet. I love my cabaret family. They are my family. Uh, I've lost the important part of my family recently, and her name was Miss Ella, and she saw a lot of you. She worshipped going to the gay clubs. She worshipped the lesbians because she sat with them while I was backstage. They took her to the bathroom. They tried to give her pills. She gave them to me. Well, I told them, I said, Miss Ella takes more pills than you've ever even heard of. I, I, get, I fix her pills every week. She does some strong shit. Those little pity ass shit you're trying to give her, they ain't gonna do shit. But I'm not better. She, she worshipped the gay community, she worshipped the drag queens, she worshipped the cabaret because all of the ladies in the cabaret dressing room treated Miss Ella like their mother. She heard years ago that some gay people told her, I wish that my mother would come to see me, come visit and party with me. She said, I'll be your mother tonight. I know that if you met her, you do miss her as well because yes. she probably touched your heart. Yes. If you didn't get a chance to meet her, just hope that there are a lot of women that are mothers of our gay members of our community that feel the same way that my mother did. Yes. And if they do, they're living my mother's dream. Yes. That everyone, that's like, how could you not love your child? She kept saying, how could they not love their kid? I said, well, I'm not, I'm, as, I'm luckier than they are. And I'm glad that you're sharing your love for me with you tonight. I love you all, and like I said, you all, use me. I don't know, am I supposed to bring out
some beach. Oh, thank you, baby. Am I supposed to bring out some beach now? Seximan.com